Hi guys, so I'm currently in the process of painting the Hero Quest miniatures and my last video you'll have seen me paint the Orc and I'm trying to sort of duplicate how they look on the cards just because, well, I want them to look how they look on the cards. So as one of the four Orcs, I also painted the Heroes, well obviously I painted them ones first because they're the main ones we're going to be using and in that Orc painting video I did ask what should I paint next and someone made a comment, uh, well, Ribbit Ribbit 4707 said he'd like to see the Abomination ones done next and that's exactly what this is. This is an abomination. Um, so yeah, these are the ones I'm going to paint. There's three of them. So like I normally do when I have more than one to paint, yeah, I can paint them all together because they're obviously going to be the same sort of paints used. And yeah, batch painting makes things, well, even quicker, which is just great, as well as obviously speed paints certainly make things good. So this little mini certainly has got some nice definition in him. Uh, the orc that I painted the other week, yeah, it didn't look too bad, but his facial, well, his face really didn't seem to have a lot of definition as well you couldn't really see his sort of mouth or his teeth uh, but yeah this chap looks pretty cool so yeah guys as mentioned obviously in the uh, the thumbnail title I'm gonna use a really really cheap brush uh, and when I say cheap yeah it's cheap um, I went into a hobby craft shop that's near me and brought a pack of five brushes for well I think it's about two pound fifty or just under so the brush I'm gonna use you could say is well it's definitely well under a dollar um, yeah, just to sort of see if you can paint with cheap and cheerful brushes and you don't have to spend lots of money because I do know this hobby can be quite expensive but I'm in a very fortunate position with this channel that uh, a lot of companies do send me stuff for free just for me to sort of try out and use so yeah, I do appreciate I am very fortunate in having some half decent brushes and well, lots of paints so yeah, I just want to show that this hobby doesn't need to be expensive and you can use well, the cheapest of cheap brushes. So there's my guys done with the uh, the cheap little bases there, a little bit of sand just to add well, a bit of texture. And then using the miniature by Red Grass, yeah, I can crack on and get these painted. So as you can see, primed in matte black, and now a bit of dry brushing, and dry brushing with white. I, I am often asked what sort of white do I use? Um, <laughs> whichever white I've got to hand, pretty much. Um, sometimes I do buy the old like kids poster paints, just because they are nice and cheap because when it comes to spending my own money yeah I can be quite cheap sometimes although I prefer to using the word frugal and I certainly do like value for money so yeah as you can see obviously a bit of white dry brushing um, yeah just try and sort of cover it all over where possible I do try and sort of do circular motions as you get a nicer sort of more well a nicer looking dry brush um, it looks less chalky and less sort of scratchy uh, but sometimes with these miniatures, because they are so small, yeah, it's difficult to do circular motions. So it is just a case of, well, getting the paint on all those lovely raised areas. So that didn't take long to do. And now, as you can see, they're all ready to paint. And again, I love it when I do the dry brushing bit, because you can then see just how detailed miniatures are. So yeah, I'm going to be making these look exactly like they do, well, on the tin. As you can see, not too many colours involved in this one. So I've had a good old look through all my uh, speed paints from Army Painter and I've got the ones that I think I'm going to be using. I will be, every time I do paint guys, I am now going to be sort of showing what paint I'm using just so you can see what, how it looks. So the brushes I've been using recently are these Kalinsky Sable ones and these were kindly sent to me by a company called Rosemary & Co. I'll leave links down below guys. But I was out shopping the other day with my children and yeah, we went into one of those little hobby craft shops and well, I thought I'd pick up some brushes and see how well I can paint with them. Um, as you can see though, these are reasonably large brushes, so even the small ones, quite a size. Uh, but yeah, it is a case of seeing, well, how well I am, or how defined I can get the paint into all the nooks, crannies, and smaller areas. So as you can see, the brush size is, yeah, it's significantly bigger. Um, but again, this hobby, it's all about having fun, trying out new things. And I say, I like trying out new things so you can guys can see, well, what happens when you do stuff. And yeah, oh, that's why I always say, guys, let me know in the comments anything you want to see me try doing, uh, or if it's a different kind of paint or painting technique or whatever it might be, let me know in the comments because I do like having fun and trying new things out. So luckily, though, with this miniature, even though it's not quite in focus there, he does have some sort of nice larger areas to paint. Um, but I will have another go using this, uh, this big cheap brush on, well, a few other miniatures again just so you can sort of see how well it comes across and the fact you don't have to spend lots of money especially when you initially get into this hobby as well the paints themselves can be quite expensive so anywhere where you can save money yeah it's got to be a good thing 
If you are new here and you like what I do, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on the bell as I am producing well a good one or two, maybe three videos a week. And it will certainly help me get to that magic number of 100,000 subscribers, which is what I desperately want. And with your help, I'm sure we'll be able to get there one day. So don't forget to like, share, subscribe, leave comments, all that good stuff. And back to the painting. So I absolutely love using this runic grey paint from Army Painter. Uh, generally though, I do kind of use it on jeans, or it has a great jean look. So whenever I'm painting orcs, they all seem to be wearing jeans. And yeah, this is definitely my go-to colour for that. But yeah, it certainly looks good for this abomination. As I say, I want to sort of make these, well, all the um, all the miniatures from Hero Quest. I'm going to be sort of painting them in the style and look of the of the cards. Apologies here again, I've got the miniature right at the bottom of the camera. And that's because I kind of forget sometimes that I am filming. Obviously, this is a hobby for me as I enjoy what I'm doing. Um, so yeah, so sometimes I'm painting away, uh, oblivious to the fact that the camera's trying to film and, well, whatever it is I'm filming isn't, um, or painting, isn't in shot. Because, yeah, sometimes I like to have miniatures right up, see, not in my eyes, but certainly close to me. So trying to paint sometimes with a, a phone, because that's what I'm using to film these things, uh, right in front of my face. Uh, yeah, and now I'm just waffling. But hey, you guys come for the painting and stay for the waffle. Would you like fries with that, sir? Yeah, now I'm just getting nuts. Right, so back to this dude. So this guy certainly isn't going to take too long to paint as well. There's not too many colours. So primarily it's that runic grey for all his sort of scaly bits. And then bony matter for, well, I'm guessing his fleshy bits. So last night I had my first game playing this with my children. And yeah, it went pretty well. Um, I think one of my daughters possibly wasn't into the game as much as the others. As well, she played the Barbarian. Uh, ran into a couple of rooms, killed some mobs, um, then kind of, I think, got maybe a little bit bored. So she ran into a few other rooms, basically opening the doors, going in, <laughs> and then running out. Um, so yeah, there was one stage where I had quite a few monsters sort of running around the corridors, chasing the um, the heroes. Unfortunately, two of them died, uh, but the other two managed to kill, well, without giving any spoilers, they managed to <laughs> complete the quest, because obviously we started on the first one. Um, and managed to get out with loads of gold, which was cool. Uh, but yeah, it was quite funny to have all these mobs sort of running around trying to uh, attack and kill the heroes. But yeah, definitely a fun game to play and certainly a nice, fun family one. Uh, simple, easy to play, simple rules, but obviously lovely miniatures. And well, I love using miniatures and I love rolling dice. And as I am getting back into playing Dungeons and Dragons, you will start seeing some, yeah, some sort of terrain pieces coming out. As I'm looking at making a few boards up, as I prefer playing the old sort of like one shots rather than campaigns. I like to sort of, yeah, dungeon de delving, I think it's called. Um, yeah, I'm quite old school when it comes to playing D&D, as I first started playing, well, back in 82. So, yeah, I would say I've been playing it a long time, but I kind of played it back in 82 for about three years. Or was it 83? 82, 83, I'm not too sure. <laughs> I'm quite old, memory like a sieve. But uh, yeah, so this guy, he's looking like the card, which is great. Um, now onto doing some metal bits. So I'm using some polished silver. And as always, I will be adding a wash over this, just because, again, this is where the, um, the speed paints range of metallics go on really, really well. Coverage is lovely, dry perfectly. Um, but yeah, they don't quite have the sort of the shading and the dark areas as much as you'd kind of like. Um, but other than that, yeah, obviously I'm, I love Army Paint a range of paints, as that is my sort of go-to range. As well, I have so many of them. Um, I don't have any affiliate links with them, or I don't get sponsored by them. But I am fortunate enough that they send me lots of paints. So yeah, guys, again, links down below. Click on them. Yeah, show them some love because I'm sure you guys probably love the speed paints well, as much as I do. So which mobs or bosses or whatever should I be painting next, guys? Let me know in the comments. And I am looking at buying the uh, the expansion sets for Hero Quest as well. So hopefully a whole load more sort of, uh, well, mobs, villains, as well as heroes. As I believe there are other heroes in the other boxes, which is going to be really, really good. So I'll have to admit, yeah, painting with this brush wasn't too bad. I mean, as you can see, though, sometimes it does sort of spray out. Um, again, for the miniature I am painting... Not too much of an issue, as it is larger areas. Although every now and then, I did clean my brush and then do the good old painting trick. Well, sticking it in your mouth um, to try and get the uh, the tip of the paintbrush nice and thin. And from what I've seen, that's a sign of, of a professional painter. 
yeah if you put the paintbrush um, in your mouth then yeah you're a pro so guys good tip there if you want to look like a pro just suck on the end of your paintbrush <laughs> um, yeah and now I don't know where I'm quite going with that so again let's get back to the painting and as you can see I'm going over and doing sort of nails and teeth but as I've kind of been a bit messy with the speed paint underneath rather than using some more speed paint because generally it doesn't sort of cover too well over well other bits of speed paint I'm using the good old um, army paint or war paints the air range so these are obviously primarily meant for airbrushes but I love using these as these are thin down paints and again go on really really well so that's them almost done um, this is where I kind of deviate a little bit from the card as these guys have a few little starfish and I don't know mollusks or something or other on them um, and yeah they looked kind of like well the same color as their scales so rather than doing the same color as their scales because it looked like well they just all blend in I thought I would go extreme and yeah we'll paint these little suckers in a nice pink color just so they sort of stand out a bit more so now on to painting their eyes and these guys really do have some sort of glowy yellow eyes and this is the great thing another one I've got the air colors and they do a neon yellow so yeah this guy is going to sort of almost light up in the dark I think with these ones and that's why I painted their eyes with that bleached bone color just so they'd obviously have a nice sort of uh, backdrop to go on and yeah this yellow although the yellow is kind of got a bit of a hint of green uh, but I still like it it really is a very vibrant in your face kind of color um, and yeah I say I have to admit I love how these creatures look uh, abominations look really cool uh, definitely obviously sea creatures uh, so what they're doing down in the bottom of a dungeon well anyone's game and as they are sea creatures yeah I thought I'd get some Caribbean ocean in here so they're little um, well I never know what to call these things they're not like skirts dresses cowls I don't know whatever these things are that cover their uh, their modesty yeah this can be covered in this paint so I recently used this paint uh, for another miniature that I'm painting I don't know if you guys have seen any of it on my community tab but I'm currently painting uh, the largest orc I've ever printed so rather than printing orcs out at was it 52 millimeters or 38 millimeters whatever it might be yeah I've certainly uh, upsized him and he's about 200 millimeters and he's riding a bike um, and yeah I use this ocean stuff on him and it looks really cool so we really are down to the last couple of things to paint here and that's their little belts and I'm going for this lovely brownish decay oh yeah guys I have just received some new paints that I'm gonna be trying out and that's the green stuff world dipping inks uh, I know these have been around for a while now but obviously I've never really used them well I've had a couple of paints they sent me as testers uh, about a year ago uh, but yeah now I've got a, a better range it's the mega paint set so 48 paints um, and yeah I can't wait to give them a go so I'll be able to sort of show you well exactly how they look so as I said earlier on the other sort of the metallic parts the last thing to do here is to add a little wash and I'm going with none oil and I'm using my little 3d printed uh, bottle holder there uh, you can get hold of that on my patreon page as well as well as loads of other bits and pieces on my patreon you can download like the um, the textured dry brush palette that I uh, I often use that's on there as well as a few other well odds and ends really and obviously it helps support the channel it keeps me fed and it keeps me continuing to be able to make loads of videos for you guys which is just awesome and there we go that's how you, these guys pretty much done they're off their little paint pot holders I now just use the black and I'm using a good old one by TT combat and it is just well like it says on tin it's just black um, yeah I'm not watering it down and I know guys you're gonna leave comments that I should water down paints and yeah you're probably right uh, but hey ho each to their own I enjoy what I do you enjoy what you do um, yeah so good old black for the rim of these I'm living the leaving the bases as they are that's what I've done with all the others so it looks like it's kind of like just sort of stones that they're walking on and yeah this brush well this brush worked perfectly and there we go some more mobs completed and ready to well ready to inhabit the dungeons and cause havoc and mayhem to all those well all those heroes that want to get in there and steal the treasure so yeah really pleased how these came out I say speed paints uh, you gotta love speed paints because they well live up to their name and they make getting the miniatures tabletop ready in next to no time so love how these chaps have come out I will be doing videos on well all the other sort of mobs that are in here as well as obviously the uh, the furniture and bits and pieces so again let me know in the comments which one you want to see me sort of paint next uh, yeah really enjoyed painting the heroes and the few mobs that I've done so far uh, and yeah they are great and ready to 
kick some butt. <laughs> okay, guys, hope you enjoyed the video. There was another video on the screen. Give that a click, see more of what I do. And it'd be really great if you can help me get to my 100k subscribers by liking, sharing, leaving comments, uh, obviously subscribing. But yeah, let everyone know about my channel. Okay, guys, you'll take care. I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.